So one of the biggest things in the Ethernet world that falls into the do not do this category is using shielded Ethernet cable with unshielded hardware. In this case, we have an unshielded keystone jack here. There is no metal on this particular keystone jack on the outside in order to bond this cable shield. The cable shield has to be bonded to your hardware so it can drain off the ground. So if it can't drain off the ground, this cable shield will not function properly. And so at the very best, you just purchased shielded cable and wasted your money because the cable shield is not going to work right. At the very worst, you could end up with what's known as a floating cable shield. And what happens there is the floating cable shield could actually act as an antenna and actually attract in signal. So if you're going to use shielded Ethernet cable, you want to use shielded connection hardware. 